back to vlogging. We haven't vlogged in so long, but today we are going into Kumsa, which is the town, the city that my aunt lives, and where the, my dad's had the family is from. And we are at Kusul Bus Terminal, which is the express bus terminal in Seoul. It's the Honkona line. It's two lines. So when you come here, make sure you look up the um, what line your city that you need to go to is from, because we didn't know and we just took a guess at this one because this is the main one but anyways we bought our tickets on the machine the tickets are in four languages at least Korean and English I don't look at the other two but they're there and we got the like the best seats in Korea which on the machine I think is excellent it's excellent premium and like good or something premium sounds better but it's actually excellent that you want and it's about 20,000 won and it should be a two and a half hour trip and why are we going there? To visit my auntie and we're going to eat lots of food and then near where she lives an hour away is the city of Chonju which you may have heard, it's not a super big city but that's where Pibimbap is from and there is a like traditional house village thing, a Hanok Ma that mm. I swear the lighting on your face was so terrible This massive billboard behind us kept changing and her face kept being really funny <laughs> This is the bus terminal. It's kind of like a big shopping mall. And we haven't had breakfast, and it's about midday. So we have to find some lunch. That's our first thing to do. A bus doesn't leave for two hours. There's more food options that way. I really want Moss Burger, but I shouldn't. I also need a coffee. Noodles and dumplings. And kimchi and pickles. <laughs> So we're walking down the basement level of the department store, it's the train station after lunch. We're trying to find a gift for Sally's auntie, because she's letting us stay with her for a bit. And there are some really, really cool things down here. There are like pig cakes and lump of luck pig and milk pie that's a milk pie I think these are going to be the gifts that we get for there's little little mochis in shapes and fruits we ended up getting this mixed pack one after much discussion and she switched the watermelon one in there so she said they weren't as good as the ones that look awesome. They're just like more decoration than anything. Yeah, she said the one that's half and half is the most popular. Yeah, down here is just like a really cool little spot. And if you've got some time to kill away waiting for a bus, then you can find some really cool little gifts. Like over here, the Korean red ginseng place. And there's tea places. And a big grocery store. Really good place just to get some cute little Korean gifts. We're waiting at this Korean style cafe um, while we wait for our bus and there's all these like cool Korean teas and stuff and I ordered something that's called Korean coffee because I thought it was going to be something really exciting and it's actually not. That's Korean coffee. It looks like something you just make at home. Coffee with a bit of milk and I think I said sugar in it. I'm actually really disappointed in that. So I thought I was getting something really special. I can't believe this is the bus. Have a look at these seats. It's like first class airplane level seats. <gasps> Let's do something? Oh, they have things. There's so much leg room in here. I know I'm little, but... That's a bag with a rice cooker in it. Been looking at rice cooker all around Seoul. Oh, it's so bright and hot out here. Um, uh, the bus has a sort of a break. It's about an hour in or something, like a toilet break, and it's pretty much just like a regular old petrol station, really, like you would find on any sort of freeway. Except there's a lot of bugs somewhere making like those really loud cicadas, making really loud noises. 
Well, there's a lot of vending machines here too, and there's game machines, and maybe we should just show it. You don't want to look at me, you want to see what's here. <gasps> we can try to win a Snorlax. And there's like a billion vending machines and some other stuff. Oh, oh, this is the rest stop. Check it out, there's this cool like water feature here at the stop. And if we go wasn't there, I'll show you the little mannequin piss guy. And we got this like fish stick cake thingy. Is it good? Mmm, <laughs> yummy. We made it to Kunsan. I said that so really. We made it to Kunsan and we're at my auntie's house now. And we didn't really vlog anything like speaking wise because it's kind of awkward being around her and things. And yeah, I'm trying to like, you know, actually talk to her and then like also translate and whatnot. But so we got here. At like five ish and we went and had an early dinner at this eel place um i think my auntie was saying that there's a lot of places that have eel but this place was like in particularly special because it was slightly more expensive but there was it was better and it was so good it was like one of the best meals we've had in korea and yeah that was so good and then after that we went to this place called isongdang which is a really famous bakery from here and they're famous for like red beans and stuff. I think there's like a red bean bread thing that they do. But we went there for Papbingsu, which is shaved ice dessert thing. It's very popular in, in summer in Korea and it's a Korean thing and it was so good. That one that they have there is like the best one in all of Korea, I swear. And it was so much better than this other one that we tried in Seoul and also so much cheaper. It was only like 6,001 for this massive thing like shaved ice and fruit and mochi and red bean and there's like ice cream I kind of taste it like Calpas ice cream it was so good and now we are chilling at my auntie's place we're gonna be here for four days three nights four days I think we leave on Sunday and it's Thursday today I'm so full. Keith said he's so full no. he ate a lot of food she kept feeding me food <laughs> It's so hot as well. Uh, full of food. I'm turning into an eel. Okay, we're at this Honjo Hanok Mall, like the village, the traditional village. And this is the king's place, the king's house, palace. <laughs> this place is in Chonju, by the way. Yeah. I'm gonna try our best to vlog because two of Sally's aunties are here and it's kind of awkward. I wasn't expecting the second one to show up. But this is it. We just sort of got, we only just got here. And this is it. It's actually really nice here. Incredibly hot though. So still walking around the village, it is incredibly hot here. Uh, we've just sat down, we had some pink soup, which is probably the best one I've had. Probably about the one we had last night. And it's really hard to vlog here because we don't really get much time. So I'm just saying what I can and get as much footage and hope you guys enjoy this footage.
Let's see, what have we been up to today? Um, this morning we got woken up by Sally's auntie at 7am to go for a hike. Um, didn't really enjoy that. Beautiful hike, but it was way too hot and it's Sally. <laughs> it was way too hot and I wasn't ready for it. I didn't have much sleep last night and it's not really what I wanted to do in the middle of summer. It was, was a bit cooler in the morning, but it got really hot. But we're done with that, and then we went out for breakfast, and we had soup for breakfast. I sadly enjoyed it. I'm not used to having soup for breakfast. <laughs> it was a bit strange, and it's not what I wanted after a hike. But I'm learning Korean culture. That's that's where the fun is, right? Trying new things. But I would have killed for some eggs on toast or something. Um, what else we done today? We went out for the sushi and the kimbap. And all you can eat, that was pretty good. For lunch, we're at an all you can eat sushi and kimbap place. It's our first place. And now we're just sitting around here in the place because it's far too hot to do anything. And we just got given this, this yummy thing. What's it called? Uh, bunga. Bunga. Well, no, punga. 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 I've had one of these, it's like a fish red bean thingy. It's not fish flavoured, it's shaped like a fish. But there's ice cream and like red bean and mochi in it. But that's really yummy. So it's like my second ice cream for the day. Um, Sally's aunties called me fat yesterday. <laughs> but they keep feeding us ice cream. But they keep feeding me ice cream and food. So it's like a really mixed signal. They said it was good looking at least. So yeah. I'll take that. So if they're going to call me fat, I guess they're being honest. So I'm good looking. That was a good thing, but I'll eat my ice cream. Why not? This is it. Oh, stuck. It's a fish. Beautiful shot. And it's got ice cream in the middle. And there's red bean in there somewhere. This is our dinner. We got delivery because my auntie had to go to mass today for something at night time for some reason. And so we had to fend for ourselves with dinner. So she ordered us dinner before she left. So we got, this is Korean Chinese food. This is jajangmyeon, so that's black bean noodles. And then we ordered um, sweet and sour pork. So that's the pork and then that's the sauce. And uh, Korean like, you know how every culture has like a how you eat something like debate in Korea it's do you dip the pork into the sauce or do you pour the sauce onto the pork pour the sauce I dip you pour dip and it came with three dumplings and a side of pickles and onions and it came in like real plates yeah they're like actual actual dishes and stuff so normally then you just leave it outside before for the delivery guy to come pick it up later Yum yum! It's our final day here in Gunsan. I'm saying that right, I know. That's pretty close. Um, we've just sort of slept. Sally's auntie's gone to church, so we're like just packing and getting ready. And we have bus leaves at 3 o'clock from here to Seoul. So before that, we're gonna go get some soba because I think there's a really good soba place around here. And soba is kind of known for this area, right? Like soba. It was in that booklet thingy. Is it? Yeah, so oh. this is a regional dish or something. But, okay. Well, probably not regional, it's Japanese, but they probably do it really well here. So, I think that's all we've done here, is just eat food and... Um, yeah, what we've done here is eaten food and seen that village. It's been far too hot to do anything else. And we're both pretty tired actually, so we're looking forward to going back to Seoul.